Welcome to my channel, where I will take you to some places, let you see my new toys and stuff, and reviews. Stand the map! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, so part 2 of um, the Path of Animation is making a storyline. So, if you want your animation or your short film to be interesting, then definitely it should have a story that will attract people to, to to watch your animation all right so that's what we are gonna do today so again prepare your ipad your animation app and your apple pencil all right so let's start and by the way guys i am not on flip a clip pro Okay, so if you're not on Pro yet on Flip a Clip, then it's alright. You can still can do so many things even though you're not on Pro. Okay, so let's pick the plus frame. Name your animation. Okay, so the next animation, since it has a storyline, if you wanna do it with me also, the animation is gonna be uh, a drop of water falling uh, on the ground and a plant will grow. Okay, so if you want a flower to grow instead of a kind of plant or green something, you can do it. So you can express your creativity, guys. It doesn't have to be the same as me. It's just uh, uh, that I'm just teaching you guys the, the process of the animation. Okay, so let's name it Bro. And let's keep it in 12 frames per second, which means... Um, it will be one second if you have 12 frames. So if you have 36 frames, then it will be three seconds. Okay, so uh, we won't mind the other settings. You won't use the background, but if you want to put a background, if you want to fill um, your background with any kind of color, then do it, guys. Okay, create project. Oh, all right, so first we are gonna focus on the drop of water that's gonna fall. So let's start here But before that let's make the ground first So I'm using the grid right now guys so you can follow the grid or on um, a good line Okay, so if you want to perfect the line You can do it guys just press the undo and redo button at the top. Alright, so there we go guys, we have our ground. Alright, so let's draw our drop of water. So, it's not gonna be that big. But we're gonna draw like that. Okay. So if you want guys, you can add a sun. Um, just like what we're gonna do next. So, okay. And then the sun is gonna be we're gonna follow the grid guys and if you want to make it more complex if you don't want your objects just one color then you can go for it okay so i'm just gonna add the rings all right so that's our first frame guys so we are going to go to the next frame all right so the next thing we're gonna do since we duplicated that frame is erase the water drop and just move it like that. We're gonna make it a bit farther from the last drawing later. I will show you how it guys, in a minute. All right, so another frame, duplicate. All right, so let's put a bit farther from the last drawing as it falls to the ground. This one just something's a So let's make the eraser brush not that big. All right, so. Next, we copy that frame again, erase that. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is um, put it like that. Okay. okay, so just keep duplicating the frames and move the drop of water. So let's move it very far from the last drawing, from this one to this one. 
Okay, so duplicate and we put it very far from the last drawing again like that. Alright, so erase that. And we do this. And then when it's gonna hit the ground, we are gonna make the last drawing sneer, which means when we duplicate it, we wipe it out. Okay, so yeah, um, we're gonna add another frame. Okay, so it's about to hit the ground, guys. So, try to keep the drop like that. Okay. So, next thing we're gonna do is that again. All right, so it's the, the drop is near the ground already. So, okay. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make it a bit thicker. Or, here I'll show you guys. Just erase this. So let's make it a bit flat on the ground. Alright. So once we duplicate that, uh, we're gonna make it like this. So so the next thing we're gonna do is when you duplicate, erase that drop. So erase the water drop. All right, and we're gonna um, copy that frame without the teardrop for like three times, and then we we're gonna see a very little part of the plant start growing. So the teardrop was here. It's gonna be here. So let's make it very small because it's just gonna start growing. We just like make the process of making it taller. But um, we're gonna make the leaves longer as it grows. So it's kind of the same process guys, just make the leaves longer as it grows taller. But let's make like a very little leaf growing here. So if you want your plants to look more beautiful, then there's no problem. Then the leaf is a bit longer here, but we're actually going to do it taller. There. But I believe that this is going to look cool later, guys. is so cool to do guys because many people are gonna be amazed by your creation so I'm motivating you guys to just go for it express your creativity whenever you animate add a bunch of color and this is not the only storyline of course that you can do you can do uh, many different kinds of stories in your animations it can be emotional it can be comedy it can be action, all right, and it can be drama. So, um, how it grows a bit taller, we're making the process a bit slow since it's 12 frames per second. If it's five frames per second, that's when we do the process of growing a bit, um, like a bit 
farther from each other but right now we're just doing it like really slow all right so that small leaf guys is gonna be kind of slow growing because uh, this is just the main leaves of the plant but you can add a little flair if you want guys if you want to add rocks beside it if you want to add the color of the soil then you should do it guys there and then we're gonna make um, two more little um, leaves to start with So those are the two minor leaves within the main leaves. So you can do any kind of plant guys. But right now I'm uh, um, but right now I'm just gonna do a kind of I don't know thin unknown plan. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is kind of express that the leaves are um they're that they're actually leaves. So hold on. This is how we're gonna do it next yes. Okay so release after we duplicate that frame and then that and when you do that we make it a bit like a leaf like that so I add, add detail you can add flowers too guys to your plant let's just make it uh, a beautiful thing and then this one still like that And then we add, and then we do what we did to uh, the other leaves. Yeah, detail. We're gonna make um, these two minor leaves grow. So guys, I know that the process of animation actually takes a long time, but that's really how it works. If you want to create something beautiful, then you have to you you have to work on it really hard. So I just created this plant guys, this is actually not a real plant, you can do any kind of plant if you want. So we are going to make it a bit longer. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do, if you want to add more detail, you can add flowers. That's the next thing I'm actually going to do. Alright, so we're gonna start um, growing the stem. So, if you want, you can make the pencil or the pen thinner. is gonna be a bit taller and bigger so we're just gonna draw a simple flower all 
All right, so we're done, guys, and let's see um, how it looks like. Wow, it looks nice. Very nice, guys. If you did this with me, or if you added more detail, you should be proud of yourself because this takes a long time to do. Be proud of yourself and keep it up, keep going, keep on doing animation if you think this is really gonna be your hobby and passion. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you have a good one. Bye, stay safe, and always uh, follow health protocols. Bye. Stand the mask!